Recently, Creality, a company known for 3D printers, released a brand new and improved laser engraver, the Falcon 2 22 watt laser engraver. It's the latest Creality product and it's pretty amazing. Now, what I find interesting about this is that you probably have no clue what any of this is. Laser engraving is relatively untouched. It's not popular, it's not mainstream, and yet it has so much potential. So that's why I'm going to introduce you into the world of laser engraving so that you could expand your creative potential. And if you're interested in purchasing this machine, there will be discounts and links below all which support the channel. Now, let's check it out. So, what is laser engraving? Since this video is mainly focused on the product, I will be brief. It's a precise, programmable laser that cuts and engraves, most often used for wood or plastics. Essentially, it's a robot with a lightsaber. And I'm not really lying when I say it's like a lightsaber. As for this one, let's open it up to see how it works, what it offers, and what it can make. When the Falcon 2 arrived, the package was enormous. It comes with a lot of different pieces that may be intimidating, but most of it turns out to be extra tools and utilities. Despite having so much, everything is packaged very well and neatly. It even comes with stickers, which gives me an idea for the future. The main body looked sleek and simple, and the manual outlined assembly which was incredibly easy. There were no screws whatsoever in this assembly, and within 10 minutes, I had everything ready to go, which is amazing for beginners like me. This machine is made of smooth metal with easy to use buttons and ports. It has a powerful 22 watt laser and an air pump included to help with cutting. For me, I really like the safety features. I never thought I would be holding the keys to a laser engraver but it does make this all family friendly. All there is to do now is to test it. To start engraving, you'll need a slicer. Similar to 3D printing, this just tells the engraver what to do. Inside this sweet USB they included, there are tons of resources, and one of them is access to Laser Gerbil. It's free and does its job. Once I installed it, I had to learn how to use it. But it's very simple. All you need is an image, and it converts that image into a message that the engraver can understand. Unfortunately, because it's so simple, the program looks like it was made 20 years ago. And because laser engraving is not that popular, there are very few videos on how to learn this program. Perhaps I'll make my own video on laser gerbil in the future. Now with so much freedom, I wanted to make whatever came to mind. And so, for the first test, I felt obliged to make a Minecraft wooden sword. First, I got an image of the sword online, and simply imported it into the program. It makes the image black and white, and darker is basically where the machine will cut deeper. You can adjust the shades inside Laser Gerbil, or more precisely in an editing program, in order to get the depth you prefer. On the next panel, you can adjust the power and speed of the laser to also adjust how deep the laser cuts. This is probably the greatest thing about laser engraving because adjusting the power allows you to cut different materials such as leather, wood, cardboard, paper, and metal. Slicing is very simple and in no time I had the wood sword ready to be engraved. 
To get your files onto the laser engraver, I found the best way was to just directly hook up the laser engraver onto your device of choice. Since the sword is made out of wood, I'll just use some wood. And I'll use the wood that Creality generously provided to us for testing. Line up the wood with the laser point and click start. Unfortunately, my first test failed because I didn't use the air pump. Having an air pump is essential in preventing burned cuts, and I'm very glad that the Falcon 2 has one included that is adjustable. After one minor setback, I got a product that I liked. I'm impressed by the quality and more so the speed at which it works at. Usually I'm used to 3D printers taking hours for a simple test. However, before we take a full look at the sword, I decided to use my creativity and give it a use. As you can see, with a simple number change, laser engraving has become laser cutting. Now I have a one-of-a-kind keychain, which I might make a video on later. But what's next? How about a raccoon keychain, drawn by Yen Katz? I think the gray look of the raccoon will convert perfectly to the engraver. The only issue is getting the settings right. Make sure if you're using this thing, you have some ventilation. Breathing in smoke is a little much on the lungs. After a bit of handiwork, this is what you get. A one-of-a-kind, unique keychain. This machine has a lot of creative potential. And economic potential. I think we're on a roll. So how about we cut some cardboard? I've had horror stories when working with cardboard, but perhaps today is the day that all of that horror is relieved. For this test, I wanted to see the preciseness of the laser, and, well, it's incredible. Results like these cannot be replicated in any other way. I mean, look at this detail. Is that is that teeth? Let's go even smaller with paper cutting. I'll just put this red paper on top of the wood because the paper is way too thin. And let's... Wait a minute, it's done already? What the hell? Wow, looks like some fairies cut these guys out. Small is nice, but this thing is big. Let's use its whole potential. With some thicker cardboard, I wanted to cut out a gun. The greater thickness, though, meant that I had to refocus the laser. I thought it would turn out good, but as it cut, it failed because I was kinda dumb, and I didn't secure the machine. But incredibly, the safety recognition of the machine activated and shut everything down. Of all the praise I can sing for the Falcon 2, these safety features are the ones I appreciate the most. I decided to try again. And to save the material that I otherwise would have wasted, I used the control features on the engraver to try and line up my cut precisely. This time it turned out perfect. This is definitely something you cannot cut with some scissors. Now cutting this cardboard gave me the confidence to try to cut some thicker wood. This is just a Millennium Falcon thing that I cut out when I was younger, and let's test out how deep the engraver can cut. My first attempt only went about halfway through, but by adjusting the speed of the laser, you can increase the amount of cutting power, and on the second time, it went through all the way with just one pass. The fact that this laser can cut this deep makes me proud of technology. 
I bet you these guys are pretty mad. We'll do one last test and this time it'll be on metal. This engraver has a unique ability to engrave on metal and produce some stunning colors. I decided to give this a try with the steel plate that they provided. And of course, I wanted to engrave a Minecraft iron pickaxe. And guess what? It turned out incredible. I was surprised that the engraver captured the brown color of the pickaxe so well. And it looks so clean that it looks kind of fake actually. If only I could cut this guy out and have a metal keychain, but I guess that's for a future video. And now I think this is a good point to end the video before I try to engrave even more things and end up burning down my house. Although a slight hassle to figure out, my impression of the Falcon 2 is a very good one. Perhaps I'm impressed because I'm so new to laser engraving. But with years of experience in cardboard crafts and woodworking, this machine is certainly a new necessity in the art space. It can be useful to any miniature artist cutting tiny posters or windows out of small materials, perfect for someone wanting to start a small business out of woodworking, or just to cut thousands of stickers without hurting your own hands. My ideas for this machine are endless. And it's great that the Falcon 2 is a laser engraver that can cooperate with you in your efforts. Safety features, simple controls, and incredible speed, power, and accuracy. I will be using the Falcon 2 in many of my future videos. And if you would like to follow along, links for the product are in the description below. And as always, remember to make some more fun.